Hi. This is just a, a short video about how you can uh, create smooth looking curves in, in AutoCAD. Okay. Um, I'm drawing these with polylines um, so that you can apply a few effects to them afterwards. Uh, let's just make sure this is working. So it's a polyline. And the first one, if you the kind of crudest one, if you if you create a, a polyline from straight line segments, if you're tracing something, okay, so let's say I change direction a couple of times, I'm just trying to follow you know a shape carefully. Okay, and then you can apply a pedit to that. So the so this is in segments, as you can see there's angles between them. Okay, but then you can use the pedit command, it shortens to PE. Okay, you select the polyline and then use the fit option. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Yeah, but the problem is it's made up of, of multiple arcs, so each one of these has its own center point. So if I find the center point of this one, then maybe the center point of this one, you can see they're in, well, they would be in different positions because they're going in different directions. So I'll try, try a different one nearby. Okay, so do you see the, the center points are different? Where, as you would expect, if that was one arc, it would have the same center point. Okay, so that's one way of, of doing it. Okay, uh, a better way is to try and use um, kind of tangential curves. And uh, these can be started off in two ways. Okay, so it's, it's a polyline initially. Okay, so without a straight line starter. Okay, so this is more difficult to control. So I need to now use the arc segment. Okay, but you see it's it's quite Duck. It's it's kind of wanting to kind of basically go vertically from this position. Okay, so if I want to control the direction, I need to use what's called the second point. So second point. Let's say I'm going to go through this position. Okay, and then you see it's kind of hinging at the point I I went through. So I'll do that again. I'll put a point on there. Let's just put a point. Let's have a start point. points. Okay, another point. Okay, and then another point. Okay, so it's polyline from this. I'll set a node onto my object snaps. Take the stuff. Okay. Try that again. Polyline from there. I want to use an arc. Okay. Then second point is through here, okay, and then the third point will be here. So there is only one curve that can join those three points. Okay, any other position will give you a different arc. Okay, so that's that's the polyline using the second point. Another way which I kind of advocate is to draw a polyline but use a straight line first even a very small portion of straight line okay so imagine we're tracing something here a little straight line segment to start off with and then the arc option and it sets the direction for the curve much better it gives you a, a good springing point for your next portion of curve okay so there's no need to apply any smoothing to that, like we did up here, okay, and there's only one center point for this shape, like there's only one center point for this one. Okay, so that's kind of the, the kind of three kind of simplest options for, for drawing curves. Small segments, which you then fit a curve to, very easy to work with. Uh, this one was a polyline with a second point. Okay, both of these were that. 
and then this one starting off with a small straight line segment which you can break off later on if I just break it there and take it to the end point that's got rid of the, the initial first line okay hopefully that kind of sets you on the right track for uh, drawing curves actually I hadn't quite finished there the one thing that you you could the, the uh, second point does allow which is which is quite good is, is changing direction very sharply so if I just demonstrate that just here so we'll start with an arc and let's do a second point one here okay well, then say I want to do a scoop going this way okay so I could do a second point and it basically allows you to change direction much more dramatically okay another second point so you get these kinks in the shape okay and sometimes that is actually what you do want uh, you know we want to avoid that you know if I draw a, a uh, two of them so we'll go arc second point okay so we'll put our first one in okay but then do a second point that's not quite in the right place okay we start to get we start to get a little bit of a so it would, you see that even though it's not pronounced it does spoil the shape so you have to kind of watch out for that when using second points that you don't introduce these kinks into the into the shape okay that's all